the outside of your house, this is what the NBM will install if you've got fibre to the premise, FTTP. And then from there, we'll go inside the house and see what you end up with on the inside. In a fibre to the premise or FTTP installation, you'll have a network termination device installed inside your house, which connects to the box that I previously showed you on the outside. This device here has power plugged into it and then has a cable that will go off to your gateway or router. After the NBN technicians install the network termination device on the inside of your house, you're then ready to connect your gateway or router. If you connect with Telstra, you'll receive a gateway device that looks like this. I turn that around on the back, you'll see you've got a red lead. Now that red lead goes to the network termination device. You've got power plugged in there, and then the green port, where you can see a black lead coming out now, that's where you plug your telephone line in. All four of those yellow ports can plug computers into them, or you can use Wi-Fi because this device is also wi -Fi, a Wi-Fi device to connect to Wi-Fi devices throughout your house. Once you've connected that and follow the instructions that you receive from Telstra, you're right to connect. If you chose the plan with the Telstra TV, plug your Telstra TV into your TV and connect it to your network. Go through the steps, put in your Wi-Fi password or connect to your wired network and go through the process to activate your Telstra TV. Once you've activated your Telstra TV, then you're right to go and use it to go and watch movies, Big Pond movies, Presto, Stan, Netflix, YouTube, Yahoo, 7, SBS On Demand, a range of different items you can go to. And to give you an idea of the speed, if we're going to Big Pond movies, for example, where we can go straight in here, or unmetered, of course, watching Big Pond movies doesn't count towards your data limit. So that'll go through and load up, as you can see, nice and quick to load there. And then it'll give you a variety of options. And so, for example, if you want to watch the trailer for The Revenant, we can hit that. goes and retrieves that quite quickly. And we have the, some of the trailer for The Revenant. If we now go back to home, you can go back to the various options that you've got there. FPS On Demand as an example. And if we go down to, let's say we picked documentary for example and went across to something like this particular show here. We'll watch that now. And then starting the show you can see how quickly we can retrieve data and then you're straight into the show. Nice and fast.